Hello guys, welcome back to yet another episode of Content Monsters and in this episode we are going to talk about the Samsung Z Flip 4 which has been launched recently along with its bigger cousin the Samsung Z Fold 4. It's about to go on sale around 10 days from now and we've laid our hands on this beauty. We've been using it for the last couple of days. This is in the Bora purple color. This is the color that Samsung prefers to promote a lot uh, nowadays, even in its Samsung Galaxy S22 range. And so let's talk about uh, how this phone performs, what this phone is all about, what are its key features. First of all, what storage capacities is it available in? It's available in 128, 256 and 512 GB storage capacity. Plus there is another bespoke edition, which we do not have great details of right now. Now let's talk about the design and display of this phone. On the face of it, it's not majorly different from the Samsung Z Flip 3. But clearly when you look closer, the cover display is fractionally uh, bigger than the Z Flip 3. The bezels are slightly sleeker and squarer, which make it look uh, more sleeker and lighter. In fact, it is slightly lighter than the Z Flip 3. The biggest display difference though is the hinge which has been significantly redesigned to make the phone much more compact. It makes it less visible to see the hinge when the phone is open and also reduces how much you can feel the crease on the display. In fact, the crease on the display uh, is hardly visible. To that extent, this feature of the flip is so much better than the fold where the crease continues uh, to be an issue. But here it's almost a non-issue. If you see, it's barely visible. Uh, so in terms of design and display, I'd give this phone a thumbs up. Like I said, on first look or first glance, the differences may not be apparent, but when you hold it, use it a lot more like I have over the last couple of days, you can start feeling the difference both in terms of sleeker looks and lighter in terms of weight. It's available in four colors, purple, blue, pink, gold and graphite. Like I said, we're using the Bora purple. Uh, over the last two days. There are expected to be more colors to be added in its bespoke edition, which we don't have details of right now. Now let's talk about the display. Samsung hasn't changed the screens too much either. The internal folding screen is once again a 6.7 inch AMOLED display with a 120 uh, Hertz refresh rate, while the outer screen has grown slightly from 1.83 inches to 1.9 inches. Samsung has added a few software tricks to its outer screen. Uh, it can now display custom images, GIFs, and even videos. It has new widgets, including a speed dial option for up to three contacts some smart home controls and some toggles uh, for settings like bluetooth and the airplay mode these are your basic hygiene improvements that they could do in terms of adding more features to the outer screen but broadly the main screen of this phone is pretty much in the same space as the z flip 3 now let's talk about the software the qualcomm snapdragon 888 predecessor in the z flip 3 now uh, has an upgrade in terms of the new snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 it brings upgrades to both in terms of pure performance as well as the power efficiency the 8 gb ram is unchanged but storage has improved like I mentioned earlier, it's available in 128, 256 and 512 GB RAM. Now let's talk about the cameras. I mean, again, in terms of first viewing, you might not find uh, a, a key difference, but when you look closely, the cameras are jetting out a lot more uh, than they did in the Z Flip 3. Uh, there's a 10 megapixel selfie camera alongside a pair of uh, 12 megapixel rear cameras. The selfie and the ultra wide cameras are essentially uh, unchanged, though it will benefit from the enhanced image processing that the new Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 uh, software offers on this phone. This results in a far more improved detailing and dynamic range especially shoot pictures in low light so to that extent there are minor improvements in the camera now let's talk about the battery and the charging that clearly is one of the biggest improvements in this phone this is a 3700 mAh battery as against the 3300 mAh battery that was there in the Z Flip 3 but more importantly it can now charge at 25 watts uh, as against uh, the Z Flip 3 which used to charge at 15 watts so clearly the battery life is much more than the previous one and it also gets charged faster because uh, of its charging capabilities. Combine this with the power efficiency that the new software offers, I think the battery life is a major improvement that one will find in this version over the Z Flip 3 and that used to be a big weakness, big pain point for Z Flip 3 users. So all in all, without a doubt, this is one of the best clamshell foldable phones uh, that is available in the market for people for someone who wants a very sleek phone which can easily fit into their pockets, very easy to hold, uh, is not too bulky to carry, this clearly is the answer. 
uh, Samsung has made huge leaps and bounds in terms of improvement in the foldable space and this clamshell foldable from Samsung clearly in terms of a like to like comparison has absolutely no competition whatsoever. Like I said some of the modifications that this phone has were needed in the previous version and they have come out in this one. And the best part, like always about this one, though the prices in India haven't been announced yet, is that it's almost the same price as what the Z Flip 3 was when it was launched, uh, which makes it very economical on the pocket as well, which makes sure that it's not a huge burden on your wallet as well. So all in all, I'd give this phone a rating of 7.5 on 10 uh, because of the fact that it's sleeker in terms of design. The redesigned hinge makes it look more compact. The battery life is much better, uh, along with the fact that this new software makes it more power efficient to use uh, the camera there are marginal improvements and all in all because the cost is the same despite the improvements i'd say if you're looking for something sleek compact easy to use easy to carry this one is the answer for you that's it from my side uh, once you've purchased the phone if you use the phone like i have do tell us what you feel about the phone whether you agree with us disagree with us i'd love to hear your views in the comment section below for more such reviews, please do keep coming back to our channel. If you like our video, please do subscribe to our channel and share this video with your family and friends. We'll see you soon. Thank you.